Good early morning from the Magic Kingdom. Today it is spring break. It is a Saturday for spring break here. The train is going, it's pulling up. And we're here to watch Happily Ever After and Ride Tron. We did get a reservation. Make sure if you guys haven't yet, check that video out because we help you guarantee yourselves a virtual queue reservation. But we're gonna go ahead, get into the park, enjoy today, start to finish, and hopefully have a pretty magical day here at the Magic Kingdom. I have to make note that we are almost never here before noon. I think we've only been to Magic Kingdom one time before noon. That was the very first time we ever came together. But we are here today. It's nice and early. We got here around 9 a.m., 9, 9.30. Takes a little while to get into the park, I will say that. And with the amount of crowds, it's pretty hard coming in. But take a look at that beautiful view here this morning of the castle without the 50th emblem on it. We are now in normal Disney mode, I guess. We're no longer celebrating 50th. And here on page 10, an ice cap. Right in front of us we have Cinderella's stepsisters walking out with their escort through. Just having a good time. It looks like they're heading over to Fantasyland right now. They kind of came over from Adventureland. And they're yelling at people. Get out of their way. Well, we're going to do Winnie the Pooh here. It's a 35 minute wait, but you can see right to our left as we walk through, Pooh and Tigger are out doing some signings and some meet and greets, and the line actually doesn't look too, too bad for as crowded as it is today. This is a posted 35 minute wait. I think we maybe waited 20, 25 minutes. This was not bad at all. It's moving today. The East On 100 Acre Woods. What's warm in here today? Where are we going, Pooh? Oh, oh, I like this part. Oh, we're bouncing. We have Stroller Gang here. This is like five or six rows deep of strollers if it's giving you any indication of the crowd levels here. And here's something I do want to note while I'm looking at this because I just thought about this. A lot of times, so there's different levels of crowds. You have the like the kid crowd where you have a lot more um, like babies and like younger infants and things like that. And then you kind of have like the adult crowd. And there are different times of the year that I think they do come. So like right now during spring break, you're seeing a lot more strollers in the park, a lot more kids, where like there's busier times of the year that don't necessarily have the kids at the same level, but it'll still be busy. So those are things to kind of keep in mind when you're planning your trip is the kid levels versus kind of more the adult levels uh, of the crowds that are kind of coming in. You know, you have to think of like uh, college spring breaks, things like that, or you know, what people are doing over big holiday weekends. It all kind of depends. I want to make a note of Peter Pan's line. There's Phil Her Magic behind it. The line is starting outside and it is wrapping around and all the way in. This is a long line. Again, this is spring break crowds. This is a Saturday. You're obviously expecting crowds to be high, but I just want to give you guys an indication. Spring break in April on a weekend. This is what you're looking at for crowd levels right now. <laughs> I think I need to also tell you guys today is the Saturday before Easter. Tomorrow is Easter Sunday. So they are doing some stuff here inside of the park. As you just saw there, they are doing a little, well, I would say a parade or a little cavalcade. Very small, but at the end it kind of says Happy Easter and they're doing some like chicks and, and chickens and things like that. So it's meant to be kind of pertaining to Easter. And then right around the corner also was a meet and greet for the Easter Bunny. Uh, we saw that earlier that's over here by Adventureland. So they do a few small things here for Easter, which is also a reason it could be a little bit busier today. I assume it's probably just this week or maybe just this weekend that they're doing this. I don't think they'll go uh, beyond tomorrow. So it's just for, I think, this weekend that's happening 
for Easter. So the Festival of Fantasy Parade is just coming around. The parade from the Easter little show that they did there kind of delayed this a little bit, but we are here now to catch this. We haven't gotten to see this yet. behind us can you guys see that there's the clock now on the castle it's no longer the 50th and I mentioned that earlier but now we get a little bit more of a close-up here and it is now just the clock no more 50th but they are keeping the 50th colors and I don't actually think they're changing the castle colors like for a while if at all anytime soon so everything still kind of looks the same they just removed the number 50 we are coming into Cosmic Rays because it is hot out today and it is very busy so the crowds radiating heat, the heat in general, uh, just gets to be a lot. So what we're going to do actually is we're going to go ahead, have some lunch. We haven't eaten yet today and it's noon now at this point. So we're going to eat some lunch, just relax in the AC. Our boarding group should be getting called in the next 30 minutes. So we're going to do that and then we should be checking in with you guys over at Tron as soon as this is done. Because I think we're just going to wait here for a bit. We have just gotten our reservation called, so we just left Cosmic Rays, and we are coming in. We are group 56, so I don't really know what level they go to as far as like the numbers. Like I don't know if it stops at like 60, 70, 80, I don't know. But group 56 just got called, coming over here now. We're all refreshed, we've eaten some food, relaxed in the AC a little bit. It is a very busy day, like I mentioned, so I see a lot of people coming in. Maybe. Um, you know, 56, 57 are starting to get called, so the next boarding groups are coming through, but let's go have a ride on Tron. I actually really like this ride. I, I do. We'll talk a little bit about it, but let's go get in line and go through a beautiful queue, in my opinion, and just an awesome area. I have been seeing online people have been showing like queues that go all the way out here, and then also this little section here with like the switchbacks, I've also seen pretty packed. And as of right now, we're looking pretty good. We're going into the inner kind of workings here. So the last time we were here, it's kind of about the same thing. The very first time, kind of the same thing also. Actually, we went pretty far through. So uh, we haven't been hit with that really long time that we have to wait in line. I think this will probably be, I'm gonna guess maybe 30-ish minutes. That's not gonna be too bad. Uh, I will keep you guys updated, but we are all checked in, ready to go. Attention users, you are about to be digitized into the world of Tron. This is seriously one of the coolest cues because you get to watch people come in. We didn't get to see this last time. Yeah, this is cool. Gosh, that's loud too. You like feel it in like your your chest. So we just saw someone launch. We did, yeah. Yeah, this is getting very dirty. I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but like, yeah, this kind of sucks that it gets so smudgy. Yeah, look at these even. All right, we are heading back to the lockers, and this has been a confusing part for some people. So we're gonna go ahead, try and find a locker 208. Did we do 208 last time? It is lit up. So what you need to do is you need to find a locker that is not lit or that is lit up that isn't dark. So if you go, I think she said you need to use a physical ticket. So we have to use a physical ticket, or she said your magic band. So we hold up. We should hold it for a second, and then it should open, but... All right, so this one's not working. Let's try again. Yeah. Okay, this one doesn't want to work. Let's try 217. All right, there we go. So we, get, we got this one to pop. And sometimes they open, sometimes they don't. It's very weird. But, all right, let's pop over to the GoPro. We do have it for today.
Like, this was so loud. It's like, Congratulations, Caesars. A championship right performance. And I have. Now I gotta go around. Ooh. And we have made it off of Tron! Woo! Team Green! Sponsored by Enterprise. Or presented, not sponsored, presented by Enterprise. Now that we are done with Tron, we're actually gonna go right behind us here, which is kind of brand new, the Tomorrowland Launch Depot. Now they put all this new merchandise in here. It was, I don't think it was actually open for opening day. It might have been, but I thought it wasn't actually open properly. Let's check out some of the merch in here. And we did take a brief look at this the other day. Oh, these are the identity chips. So you could be team blue, red, or yellow. And then I believe you get these and then they end up changing these are two of the items, I do know that as well. So these are the discs, the um, identity discs. And this is actually a Bluetooth speaker. And I don't think the button works right now, no. So I think this like lights up, but you can actually insert the disc, whatever color, into the, um, like your identity disc into this. Or is this what it's called? Oh, the identity chip, I'm sorry. So it's the identity chip with the identity disc. And then you can also put that into the remote control light cycle here. So it'll actually change the colors then based on whatever chip you end up putting in, which is actually pretty cool if you wanna like customize it a little bit. But something interesting with that, let me actually show you over here. So right here, here are these discs again. They actually insert onto these backpacks. So you can put on your disc and it'll actually insert on to the back of the backpack here. And you kind of have like a walking Bluetooth speaker, which is kind of fun. And the backpacks actually aren't horrible quality. They're $55, which I feel like is kind of normal for a backpack, to be honest. They're not the best quality, but they're not horrible. But, you know, it's kind of a cool little thing and you can show off your personal identity here. And then these here are gonna be 70 for the actual discs. And then, like I said, so the backpacks are 55. So if you want that full combo, you're spending over $100 on it, but it's still kind of cool. They do have have some 2023 merch for Tron as well just like basically showing off the year it opened so if you guys are interested in kind of having like that historic moment you do have some of that so this is just a normal shirt I believe they have an annual pass shirt over around the corner but I am going to show you this also the Magic Band Plus which is cyan I think we saw it was like $70 or something or $60 it's pretty expensive but these are the Magic Band Pluses for the Tron ride here. It does say 2023 limited edition. I don't know what the limited number would be. These are also kind of interesting. So these are pins and these are uh, limited edition 1000, which I feel like people then go ahead and snag these up really quick just because once you see a number associated with limited edition, you oftentimes get people that want to make sure that they get whatever that is. So, oh, right there, $65 for it. So what I say, 70, 60 or 70. And then this limited edition pin was $60, which is pretty pricey for a pin. But I guess each their own limited edition, right? Here are some kind of fun, unique picture frames and they do light up with the different team colors so you could choose if you want to be team blue, orange, yellow, or red. Uh, the one thing I'm noticing with these is they are a little plasticky, cheap feeling. This isn't glass. I know maybe on camera it looks that way, but very cheap feeling, unfortunately. Uh, but I guess it's cool that it lights up and it's a four by six for the size is what I'm seeing right there in the center. And I can't see the price on these, but I'm gonna guess they're probably 25 to $30 based on that. Oh, something kind of looks like it opens up. Oh, probably how you put the picture in. Here you have these light runner die cast vehicles, and this looks to be kind of like the back seat. So this is $20, and there's kind of the disability access seats for um, anybody that's maybe a little too large to fit on the ride, or again, if you need accommodations and you can't fit on the seats. They have like the back row for like the handicap row is kind of what they call it. Uh, and these kind of look like those seats that they're using. So I guess it kind of is a resemblance of the light, run, the light runner die cast vehicle here. So they do have a few items on display. And like I said, we already have seen the uh, picture frame there, but there's also the mugs. And then you kind of have this like zipper thing here, which I've got in my hand and it lights up. I don't know. Yeah, okay, so you can see it does light up, which is actually kind of neat. It's lit up inside of there. So that's kind of cool that there's some lights on it. Um, pricing on this is going to be $30. So I guess a little pricey for that. Also, I guess I should make note that as you can see up there, it is two items 
per guest. And so it is basically like per tag. So you can buy like two shirts. You could still buy two of these. Like you can buy two of like everything if you want, but it's only two items of like that like select item. Right here is part of where they kind of finalize your Tron program. If you guys do the identity program, um, I think your figure or whatever kind of comes out of this here. I think we actually might do it at some point. I've been hearing that they've been having trouble like getting it to kind of work and like sometimes it's been getting closed down and then getting you're, you're like getting like a $90 refund or something so it's not always working but it seems like it's worked today and yesterday and these are the actual booths that you're gonna go into and they're gonna actually record your facial features and some voice lines apparently so you'll go into these booths you'll about 20 minutes you're gonna be busy for it sounds like and then you're gonna go and then come back I think whenever you get called and that's when you're actually gonna go over here to those booths I was just showing you and then you'll end up kind of finishing and finalizing the rest of your little figure there. But as you can see right next to me, so here's the disc and it's changing colors. And then here's the figure. And then right behind there is the little remote control. So these are the three items that that identity chip can work with. So your face will actually go inside that figure. And uh, then again, whatever color you choose will light up that figure. Here's the little vehicle here. And it is remote controlled. They were just using it a second ago, but I think it's got a charge potentially. Um, and then again, here is the identity disc. So those are the three items that your trip can work with for now. And they may release more items in the future. And I imagine they will uh, in time as the ride starts to grow and the popularity continues to kind of reach the masses. So there's the box and she's gonna go ahead and explain to him kind of how it works. But that is about the size that you are getting. So your figure will be inside of it. You get the little, the game along with the action figure inside. And I believe you could actually take the figure out of it and then it just sits in there and then it kind of lights up and everything. So that's pretty sweet. Something that's pretty unique that I haven't seen a lot of, so this Disney made, and I think this is kind of some personalized items. So you see uh, like AirPod cases, you have some magic bands, some phone cases. Uh, it looks like Apple, like, like the watch straps, I'm assuming, and then magnets. What's kind of cool here is you can come here, made to order. So you just touch the screen, and then you can kind of like customize and choose what you want to choose here. I haven't seen this in any of the stores yet. I don't know if this is used elsewhere, but I think you, yeah, I think you can kind of customize like how you want it done. So let's say you want like a child large shirt. You get to kind of like choose and you kind of cycle through and you're like, you know what, I want to be team orange. And you kind of just like go this way. I'm not going to confirm, obviously. But um, yeah, I think this is kind of unique. I don't know if you get to customize like words or anything. What makes noise now? Does that look cool? Yeah. And well, then there you go. So you gotta spend, hold on a second. Our lights are on, check out the lights. Okay. okay. I think the batteries are dead. Am I shouting? A little bit. Okay, I can't, it's a little echoey and vibrating in here. A little large. But here Maybe you go. they're sized. What? Maybe you can buy your size. Ah, yeah. Buy my size, right? Yeah. yeah. Here you go. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 would definitely buy. No, I wouldn't. Like a lot of you. It sounds like um, there's audio in there, but it sounds like it's like faded or something's going on. I don't know. Also, the last item as we are going to get out of here now will be the pass holder shirt. So if you guys are annual pass holders, which again, one of my last videos was talking about annual pass holders coming back. So if you guys do have the opportunity to become pass holders, you can get the 2023 pass holder Tron shirt here, which is kind of cool. And uh, it does glow in the dark. See anything on the back side? Yeah, there you go. 2023. I do not like the numbers. You don't like the, the way that they're no, fonted I mean, out there? What is it supposed to say? Yeah, some of the fonts are a little weird. I like the Tron portion, but I can see like the 2023 being a little hard to tell. But kind of cool nonetheless. If you guys are interested, $40 for annual pass holders. And I imagine you get your annual pass holder discount on it. Well, we were just informed, so Disney tends to carry only up to XXL in stores. Every once in a while, you will find a 3XL shirt. But with these, they actually have 4XL. So they are now stocking 4XL, at least for this shirt here. We were just talking to a cast member, and she informed us that they are uh, kind of stocking a few 4XL shirts. There's four of them here right now. So for your bigger guests, you do have the option. I'll get these in store. A lot of times, you have to go online and purchase, but they do have them now. So that's actually kind of nice for bigger guests. You do have some bigger options in store, and you can actually buy it here on your trip. All right, now we're coming up to our last items here. This bag is actually kind of cool. So it looks just like the arcade game as like a backpack, which is kind of unique. But we do have the original 
identity disc as well if you guys want one of the original OG identity discs for $10, aka a frisbee. This is just a frisbee. <laughs> and then one of my favorite items is this spinny cup. So you can see team yellow and blue on here and they, they turn around and you can make them like race kind of. Or maybe. I don't know. But it's kind of fun. This has very uh, retro like the, like the original movie. This doesn't really scream legacy to me. but. It's still kind of fun. This is $28 for this one. I do want to talk about our ride on Tron there. So, again, Tron has been getting a lot of flack for multiple reasons. And I think I need to just give you, again, a very quick synopsis of what I feel is happening there. That ride, if you're in the front row, you kind of miss a lot of the inside scenes that are going on. We did the back row, as you could see on the video there, and I think it's way better. Number one, like the inside felt a lot faster. Nicole was talking about she started to feel a little bit of like, almost like the drops in the ride because you kind of go up and down a little bit. Not crazy, it's not like you're doing these crazy hills or anything like that, but it's a lot more um, intense, which is not super intense on the inside, but it's a little bit. Uh, but the launch felt great. Everything just felt good about that ride. Uh, I will say I did feel a little bit of uncomfortable feelings downstairs. But overall, it was really good. And honestly, like, that's a top ride for me at Disney right now. I would put that in top five, maybe even top three. So go on the ride and judge it for yourself before you just start hearing people's thoughts and opinions on it. You just gotta ride it for yourself. It, it is actually a very good ride. We are actually now going to head over here towards Space Mountain because it is only a posted 30 minute wait. I don't know if it was broken down. So we're gonna go ahead, try this out, see if this is actually 30 minutes or if that is just a missed post. But as we were checking out some of the merchandise there, we saw that the time on this was posted 30. So let's go ahead and see if this is accurate. Yeah, check this out. This is actually a really short queue. I don't even think we're gonna be 30 minutes. I'm not seeing any switchbacks. I think they just opened this back up. So I think we really lucked out here. Nice, for such a busy day. Holy cow, this is awesome. Let's go. This is gonna be like less than five minutes. Well, space is now up to 60 minutes now that we just got off and I bet you it's more than this because they are outside with switchbacks again. They are just starting the switchback so it's not totally filled but I bet you this is going to be longer than 60 now. That's crazy. We really lucked out. It was down. We, we talked to somebody in line and they mentioned that it was down from like 1.30 at least. So lucky timing. We're going to go ahead and do Carousel of Progress right now because why not? The Carousel of Progress is somewhere I feel like if you need a 20 minute nap, you go in there. That'll put you to sleep real fast. I was, I was doing good and then all of a sudden we got in there getting that first room by the end of it my eyes were so heavy I was like oh I can take a nap I think Nicole took a little bit of a nap Carousel of Progress is the nap central but we are now going to actually go ride the people over so we'll see you guys in the future and we are back and we are in the future it's been a few hours here but we are now in front of Splash Mountain or the old Splash Mountain as we can see some of the updates there's a lot of work being done here and I feel like, I feel like they've removed a few things. We actually look down here, they also have some work being done in some of these uh, like construction units here. They got some wood over here with some buckets, so I don't know. I, at first I saw the water back there and I thought that it was the water and splash. I'm like, they've got water? And I thought it was gonna be something crazy, but nah, this is, this is going to be a long project, I think, here. I don't think quite as long as Tron, but I guess we don't know. I don't really know what the timeline is. Do you know what the timeline was? What, did they say the end of this year? I thought it was 2025. Was it 25 or 24? Maybe Epic Universe? Epic Universe is 25. I think it was maybe 24, actually. Boat's coming in. Toot toot! Full boat. Now the only sign you're really seeing around here is the Tiana's Foods coming soon. And from what we know, it does seem like this is, according to what we're reading, where it's picking off from the movie. It's kind of like, you know, she's got her own place. And so I don't know if Splash is going to pertain to 
continuing the story or if it's actually going to continue or um, like show like the previous story like is it going to be part of the adventures you would assume based on the movie it kind of can fit and they can kind of do something along her trail through the bayou there but based off of the signs because it's saying coming soon part of me feels like that's the future right because that would be moving forward so they still have the play area that was here during splash and you can see the walls come all the way out here but i think i was seeing that you could still get the coins and i do actually see the machine over there so i think you could still get splash mountain coins if you guys are looking for those let me go take a look and it does look like you still can get two splash mountain coins here so one souvenir coin for a dollar one for one three souvenir coins for three dollars there is no discount on multiple purchases so that is kind of interesting that you have two splash mountain options here still available if you are looking to ultimately get something here so i think we got to get one actually a have a little mountain. ode to splash do we get this one with like Mickey and gang, or do we get like the original crew? Probably the characters. Yeah, we gotta go with the original crew, right? I feel like that's a little bit more it's iconic. Three dollars. Well, I guess it's just giving us the three options. We didn't really have a choice. So I guess let's see if we get all three. I think they come out hot. So we're gonna wait a second. But I think I just wanted to do one, but then we only got, or we only had the option to do three. So, oh, use credit card only oh. if you want all three coins. All right, well, we use the card. We got no dollar on us. Ooh, they're hot. They Ooh, are. They're, they're hot. All right, well, we did get all three, actually, but unfortunately, our um, the one that we wanted has like a little bit of a nick in it. Let's see if it focuses kind of down there at the bottom. That's okay. So it still does work. It still does spit out pennies. So if you guys are interested, you guys can still pick up some Splash Mountain pennies. All right, we are going to actually take the train now to the front of the park because we are meeting up with some of Nicole's friends. So we are going to hop on the train. So we'll catch you guys in a second, but the crowds do seem to be starting to go down, at least a little bit. We actually just scrapped the train. We're now heading over towards Pirates. It's already over here. So we're just gonna go right through Frontierland, head over to Adventureland, get on Pirates. Yo ho, yo ho. A pirate's life for me. A pirate's life for Nicole. Let's go ahead and see what the. Ooh, it's back out here. Ooh, goodness gracious. Are we doing pirates? We're probably still doing pirates, but. Ooh, that's a line. All right, pirates was just closed down. They literally just opened the gate. We were waiting here for about three or four minutes. So we are waiting for Nicole's friend to see if we are going on right now or what they want to do. Posted 45 minutes. I just got updated. I am soaking right now. I got so wet on those cannonballs. We have finished up over on Pirates and I was soaked sitting in the front row. I've never gotten that wet before. Don't really know what ended up happening, but those cannonballs, they got me pretty wet. I mean, my lens was like speckled with water, I had to clean that up, kind of crazy. So we are actually gonna go get a spot for the fireworks. It is 7.40 right now, so we have an hour and 20 minutes until the fireworks show, but we figured let's go try and find a good spot since again, the last time we watched it, which was last night on the potential live stream that never ended up happening because connection problems. Um, we didn't really love our spot, so I'm hoping today we can find a little bit of a better scenario and uh, we can get you guys a cool visual of happily ever after and here is the hardest part of the night trying to find the ideal fireworks spot and you want everything you want the good sound you want to make sure that you're getting you know a loud sound like so you can hear good music you want to be able to see the visuals on the castle you want to be able to ultimately not have any obstruction it's very hard to come by but we'll see you can already see the crowds lining up in here so we may not be able to find an ideal spot which would be really upsetting but we're gonna do our best well I'm hoping this spot works better because you have the speakers right there just so you guys are aware these are speakers the more cylinder types that you're seeing on the pole there those actually put the sound the direction that we are we were on the inside of that ring last night and the sound was going outward so you want to be on the outside of the ring if you want the sound to be a little bit better but i was like well i want to be close to the statue there so i thought it was gonna be better didn't work as well so this is a pretty ideal spot to be completely honest we'll see if they end up filling in the space here but as of right now, we're hoping that this is a prime viewing angle of the show, and we will show it to you the next time you see us. And they all live happily ever after.
Couples will cheer when they see my face. Continues on. Reach out and find your happily ever after. We have just finished watching Happily Ever After, and like I said, this is our second time. Our thoughts on Happily Ever After, and just initially, I will say, over enchantment, if we're just comparing those two, leaps and bounds. Mm -hmm. Leaps Absolutely. and bounds better. The show is so good. Like I think the firework display is insane. Just like what they do with that compared to Enchantment. Mm -hmm. And then the music I feel like is better. Happily Ever After overall, so good. The song that like the, the, the iconic song is so good. Mm -hmm. And then just like, I don't know, you, just the vibe of it. Like I was just, I feel like I was just like smiling the whole time just watching it. Where Enchantment I'm like, okay, like there's mm -hmm. moments where you kind of like smile or you know, maybe you laugh or just like you feel good about it. But I feel like with Happily Ever After. The whole time the, you're yes, just enjoying it. It's just a good, good show. I want to watch it again. Like that was so good. Like the next time I'm here, I want to watch it. We've come to Magic Kingdom a number of times and like neither of us have cared to stay for Enchantment that much. No. When it comes to Har like or uh, Happily Ever After, I feel like I would watch it. Maybe not necessarily stake out a spot for an hour and a half, but I feel like I could watch it every single time I'm here just because it's that good. Mm -hmm. So. Very excited that it's back again because we haven't seen it, but I'm excited that we finally got to see it because we've watched it online so many times. We've listened to the soundtrack so many, so times. many times. So it's like being back, there's to just actually something. To experience it. Yes. It's crazy. It was awesome. So very excited that we got to do that. Great show. Find yourself a spot. Watch it. It, it is worth it. I know that you can get on the rides, but at least one time, mm -hmm. watch Happily Ever After. You will not regret it. This is the first time we've seen this since we've come to Magic Kingdom. You can wave goodbye to Mickey and Minnie. That was, that was to us for sure. Oh, look at him. Wow, yeah, I've never seen, have you ever seen this before? No, I was gonna say, they really break out everything. Yeah, spring break, spring break it's the, the great crowd. The horse, the carriage, <laughs> this. Wow, gosh, what a long day, but this was fun. All right, we have taken the bus back over to the TTC. It's been a long day, everybody. We've been here since like 9 a.m. It is 10.59 or 10.55 p.m. We didn't quite close down the park. We were five minutes early, but wow, is it a long day. I'm exhausted. We didn't get too much sleep because we were out late last night, but thank you guys for hanging out with us. I hope you guys had a fun time. We did Tron. We did some other small rides. We watched Happily Ever After. It was just kind of a fun day here at Magic Kingdom. It was a full day. We haven't done this in a very long time and I was excited that we got to do something like this. So if you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. I know this is probably a longer video. I could just already tell from what I did record, but please consider, like I said, giving it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. It helps out a ton. We'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Mm -hmm.